Hello everyone, welcome back to The Divine Speaker. If you're interested in playing the game yourself, the links are in the description. Links are always in the description. All right, well, I'm just gonna jump in. Snowball fight with sign and I don't know where it's going. I don't know. Let's go. The streets were empty, but not too dark. He dashed down a side street, then out into another main road. He raced forward and hid behind a large bronze statue. We circled around neither us giving up. Come and get me! That was my cue. My snowball landed square in his face before rolling down and hitting the ground. Um, uh. <laughs> the silence stretched on before being interrupted by a burst of laughter. <laughs> oh my god. Sign, I told you I'd get you. So why do you look so surprised? It was hard to resist laughing when his face was so bewildered. Hmm. It's time to get serious, oh, no. I see. Fine. I'll play with you. Oh my god. We both scrambled around in cold la in the cold, laughing and throwing snow at each other as if we were children. My fingers had long become numb, but it didn't let that stop me. We were both too stubborn. Either neither of us could give in first. You look cold. I had enough already. You're both cold. I felt my teeth chatter. I've lived in the cold all my life. You're in my territory now. <laughs> oh, art, 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 art. Ah, uh, look at him. I knelt. I quit. I quickly knelt down to the ground, ready to defend myself. You've let your guard down. Oh no. Uh. I've done it now. Sign stood over me, throwing a snowball up and down threateningly. I braced myself for impact. Uh, instead of getting snow thrown at me, Sign flicked me <laughs> lightly on the forehead and peered down at me with a genuine smile. Just so you know, I don't mind spoiling you with more clothes at all, but I don't think Ash would appreciate it if we ruined these ones so soon. Yeah. Once again, I felt my face flare up, heat rising to my cheeks. <gasps> stop. Stop. Did I stop at a good time last time? Ooh. Slowly I stood from my place in the snow and wiped my hands on my trousers. They're cold. Really cold. All feelings in my fingers had long gone. Before I'd even realized I was doing it, I reached out and taken Sign's hand. I got a little carried away. I'm sorry. I started it though. It was fun. We better get you back inside before the others think I kidnapped you. You've got two very protective companions. <laughs> Wait a second. This scene. Oh, this setting. Oh, don't tell me you're going to confess your love to me. Sign. Uh, no. Um, I was just going to say... Um, mm. What was I going to say? What am I trying to do? You were just going to say... Stop teasing! I, uh, I, uh... I was just going to ask you who that statue was. I was just a little curious, you know? Hmm. <laughs> Sign, you know. Huh, I see. I was kind of hoping you were going to invite me back to your room and ravish me. Uh. You already declined my invitation. <laughs> it's Elliot. Elliot the Great, or Elliot the Godslayer, as people like to call him. Hmm. Who is he? He was a general that led Sid Cam's armies during the Aurelian War. There was an interesting story about him, you know? They say that he slayed an evil god who threatened the city. I thought it was an exaggeration, but after everything that's happened, maybe it's actually true. My mind flashed back to the fight with Knox. How I struggled against him helplessly. Elliot must have been strong if he actually managed to kill someone like that. Huh. I see. Huh. Staying like this felt comfortable. His head fit into mine as if only natural. You're freezing, aren't you? Hell yeah. I can feel my heart beating in my fingertips. <laughs> Maybe I should have asked for warmer gloves, too. Hmm. And earmuffs. Your ears are bright red. I couldn't ask for anything more. Haven't you already done enough? What else am I meant to do with my money? Uh, 
I don't know. You shouldn't waste it all on me. It's not a waste if I want to do it. Don't worry. I won't run out anytime soon. Come on, it's about time I left. I have to... speak to my mother. Uh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> he gave me no chance to respond, instead pulling his hand from mine and turning to leave. Thanks for staying out here with me. Yeah, yeah, I had fun too. Have a safe trip home. He gave a small wave and disappeared down a dark back street. I guess that's my cue to head inside and retire for the night. I passed through the entryway where... Aaron? I don't know, sorry, I forgot. I was busy writing in a ledger. As I passed, she looked up and her eyes met. Uh, good night. Good night. Uh, it was rain, wasn't it? You were just with Sign? Hell yeah. Um, yeah, I was. I'm surprised. I didn't think he was allowed out this late. Uh-oh. What do you mean? After his last trip out of Sid came, I heard he has a curfew. Not allowed out past sundown. Oh no. If he gets in trouble, it'll be all my fault. He must think pretty highly of you if he's willing to anger his mother after he already got scolded. Please, look after him. I know he might seem a little wild and uncontrollable, but I know he just wants someone he can really trust. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry, uh, that was unprofessional mm -hmm. of me. Please, get some rest. Uh, thank you. She is a well of wisdom. She went back to writing in her ledger, and I took that as my chance to escape back to my room. All in my bedroom, I quietly undressed and laid my damp clothes out to dry. I crawled into bed and pulled the sheets over my shoulders. It was warm and soft, just like the night before. Sign. I hope it goes well with your parents. It took me no time at all to fall into a deep slumber. Yay. Oh. Oh. Sign rushed through the darkened streets, desperate to be home as soon as possible. No, no, it's already become so dark. If I was going to have trouble convincing her before, and now it's nearly- It's- That'll be near impossible. He ran to the last corner and came face to face with a large ornate gateway. The name Vimond could be seen in cursive etching. Is that, is that right? I don't know. Sign sighed in relief. Maybe she won't notice after all. Just as he was thinking he may be off the hook, the guard standing on either side of the gate opened it and a woman came striding out. Uh, dressed as if the world's eyes were on her, her high heels clacked against the stone pathway. Sign straightened out his back and stood at attention. Well, it seems someone is a little late. Have I not been strict enough on you? Do you want to be confined to the estate? No, mother. Forgive me for being slightly late. I was held up. Held up, were you? My, and what could possibly be more important than my instructions that you would allow yourself to be held up? <sighs> you had his friends. <laughs> and his probably future love. I don't know. We'll see. The boy that you've been looking for, I know where he is. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. oh. Well. Oh. <sighs> oh. Speak. I'd like to ask for something in return. You mean to bargain with me, despite your current predicament? <laughs> You're nothing if not my son. I'm not asking for much, Mother. I just want to come to some sort of agreement. State your conditions and I will consider them. I would like to be given a pass to attend the ball tomorrow and be allowed to bring him as my plus one. Interesting. Sinaculus, you've never shown any interest in attending these events, to the point where I've had to force you in the past. What's changed? Am I not allowed to have a change of heart? Is this just a ploy to run off and cause trouble? You had best not embarrass this family again. I've had enough of an issue on my hands squashing the whispers and rumors going around about you. I'll be on my best behavior. You have my word. Hmm. If only I could get this much interest out of you when you're scheduled to have sessions with your tutors. I'll try, Mother. 
I would like to meet the boy as soon as possible. Pardon? If you want to attend the ball as badly as you say, then you'll do as I ask. What's going on? <laughs> it would be remiss of me not to greet your esteemed date in the flesh, after all. I can't let anyone else get their hands on him. Yes, Mother. If that's what it takes, then I'll happily bring him to meet you. <laughs> Perhaps I was wrong about you. Oh. You may have some use after all. <laughs> oh, sign. The face, beep beep. What's that about? Hello? Are you there? Silence echoed through my mind. Again, nothing. She was gone. Absentmindedly, I rolled over in my bed and looked towards the window. Soft rays of light cascaded over the bed. It really looked pretty on Sign's skin. What? What? Wait, what? <laughs> Sign! What are you doing here? I bolted upright and looked down at the grinning sign. His head was resting in his palm and he was sprawled out beside me in bed. How long have you been here for? All of five minutes. Don't worry, I've been oh, on my best behavior. So I didn't even peek. Sorry, I got distracted by his looks. <laughs> you seem tired, so I didn't want to wake you yet. And how exactly did you get in here? You said it yourself. I booked the rooms, so I don't need to be invited. Right? Uh, um. Now I'm a little like <laughs> Sign. I love him, but also the mother is sketch. The mother is sketchy. Sign's eyes dropped from my face to my exposed chest. I pulled the sheets up to my chin, covering myself. Now you're getting shy. <laughs> Come on, there's nothing you need to hide from me. Reluctantly, I let go of the sheets. <sighs> These rooms really have nice views, don't they? You seem to be in high spirits this morning. When am I not? I shook my head slightly. I wish I could be as happy as you. <sighs> well, happiness has nothing to do with it, does it? Huh? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Anyway, anyway, what's gone so wrong overnight to make you so somber? I have a lot on my mind right now. Like... Me? <laughs> I hope you haven't been fantasizing so much that you've lost sleep. I think it's about time I told him about my dreams. I'll leave out the healing part for now. Uh, no, no, it's not that. It's my dreams. Oh, you've been having sex dreams about me? No, Sai, no, we haven't. <laughs> what? N no, no, nothing sexy. It, it's something I haven't told you about yet. Can we talk for a bit? He nodded and the grin fell from his face. I've been having these strange dreams since I left Aurelia Cavella. There's this... voice calling out to me. She was trying to help me, I think. Like... a vision? Something like that. I think. Up until now, I wasn't taking them too seriously. But I mentioned it to Varys, and he thinks it's someone trying to guide me. So... what's the problem? Apart from the fact that you have an extra voice in your head, of course. Of course. The problem is she disappeared. Right after telling me that I was being followed and... he was nearly here. She says there's nothing I can do to stop it. Huh. And you didn't think to tell me about this before now? I'm sorry. <sighs> So she left. Do you know why? I have no clue. It sounded like she wasn't safe. I'm scared, Sign. I'm scared for me, of course, but I'm terrified for her. Sign's eyebrows furrowed, completely focused on what I was saying. Has it ever happened before? When we went through the Amaranth Forest, she disappeared for a time. But once we entered Sid Kayim, she came back. Sign tensed up at the mention of the forest before relaxing back into my bed. What happened there must have still been weighing on his mind. Or... She didn't disappear in the Amaranth Forest. You just couldn't hear her. It's a strange place, and I wouldn't be surprised if something blocked your connection. Maybe. Then you think we should be taking her warning seriously? Yes. I do. 
All right. We'll have to be on guard while we're looking for Caspian. But what if the he is Caspian? <laughs> I suppose you'll need a knight in shining armor, huh? Yes. He giggled. Uh, giggle. I can never say giggled right the first time around. He giggled, a carefree expression coming back to his face. I have some news that might cheer you up, by the way. Two exclusive tickets to the Sid KM Ball, just for us. He pulled out two maroon envelopes sealed with wax and waved them in front of my face happily. Uh, really? How did you manage it? <laughs> See? You can count on me. It wasn't too difficult. I just had a chat with my mother. She must be a saint. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> what does that mean? He passed the envelope over to me and I turned them around in my hands. I didn't realize the paper could be so detailed. However, uh, there were a few conditions. Nothing too big, don't worry. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Would you rather they be big? Wow, Rain. Be serious. All right, all right. She wants to meet you as soon as possible. He looked away, refusing to meet my eyes. Was he embarrassed? I'd love to meet her. Anyone related to you must be amazing. Uh, <laughs> I see. Well, I'm sure we'll run into her later tonight, since she'll be attending too. I'm looking forward to it. So, no sneaking required? We can just go in like normal guests? We are normal guests, silly. No one should question you if you're with me. Should? Well, I'm not exactly a frequent attendee. There might be some people that are less than thrilled to see me. Um, aren't you, like, super popular? What makes you think that? Because you're so charismatic. I don't know. Everything about you screams, look at me. <laughs> and here I thought I was keeping a low profile. <sighs> I guess you'll see for yourself. Uh... If you don't want to go, we don't have to. There'll be plenty of other chances to look for Caspian. And miss attending a fancy ball with arm candy like you? Never! Uh, a thank you. Arm candy? <laughs> After all the trouble you've gone to, I really hope we can catch some word of his whereabouts. You know, we can worry about that later. But for now, mm -hmm. I have a great idea about how to pass the time. Mm-hmm. Oh? Sign motioned with his fingers to come closer to him. As I leaned towards him, he put his lips to my ear. <laughs> how about lesson number two? Well... My face <laughs> instantly heated up at the memories of last time <laughs> resurfaced. The image of Sign sat on my lap with a cheeky grin, brought on a sudden case of butterflies in my stomach. So teasing. Will this lesson go even further? I want to know what it feels like. I want it to be Sign. Just follow my lead. Ooh. And you're sure to learn a thing or two. No slacking off, though. Don't worry. <sighs> okay. If... if you want to do it, then. <laughs> Perfect. Nothing beats an early morning session, after all. Well, midday's pretty good, too. Oh, and night. <laughs> ah, forget it. It's always good. Sign stood up and removed his coat before throwing it into a nearby chair. He came back to bed and his hand slid over my bare skin. I don't think I've ever felt so exposed to someone else, but it wasn't bad. For the record, you don't need my permission to touch anywhere on my body, so feel free to do whatever you want. I gulped. Timidly, I reached out and placed my hands on his waist. I felt slender in my grasp. He ended the vest slowly and seductively. Should I unburn? Unburn? <laughs> I'm getting there. Should I unbutton his shirt again? Is that okay? He did say that I don't need his permission. One, two, three. Soon enough, his shirt was thrown to the side, just as his cloak was. I couldn't look away from him. Every inch of his body was smooth and sen sensual. Sensual? Drawing my eyes in. You like what you see? I... I do. <laughs> Is looking enough for you then? Aww, how sad. His fingertips played with his waistband teasingly as he pouted, pretending to be sad. <laughs> he was waiting for me to make a move. 
I reached forward and slowly peeled his pants from his legs. He fell forward onto the bed and threw his legs over me, grinding against me. I sucked in a breath, trying to settle my quickening heartbeat. My eyes glided along his body, lower and lower, before my cheeks became even warmer. Still feeling shy? Uh, a, a little... <laughs> cute. I gasped in surprise when my fingertips ran across in my underwear, tracing the shape of my chicken. We are here. We are in the chicken zone. <laughs> the way he spoke, the way he moved against me, the way he looked, everything was alluring. With my eyes squeezed shut, my lips found signs, and I kissed him lightly. He returned the kiss with passion, and I felt his tongue pass over my lips. His mouth opened as if inviting me in. Every movement from him made my body feel hotter and hotter, and the deep deepening kiss wasn't helping with that. A shock ran through me at every point we he touched. His fluttering fingers quickly caused my body to react. <sighs> I pulled away and finally opened my eyes. He stared right back at me, the green of his eyes looking particularly, particularly piercing. Uh, sign. It feels good. Woo! <laughs> then don't stop. He pulled me closer to him and went back to grinding his hips against me. Is this a dream? <laughs> I know I the message. No, we talked about the voice. Meh, who knows? Well, he pulled me closer to him and went back to grinding his hips against me. When I stopped again to take a breath, he tilted his head to the side and invited me with his eyes. Again, I lightly kissed down his neck and over his chest before he stopped me. You don't have to be so gentle with me. I'm not going to break. I promise. Okay. I don't want to disappoint him. I'll try my best. Go, Rain, you can do this. I resumed the trail of kisses, starting on his chest. I liked and nibbled, leaving little marks all the way down to his torso. Uh, uh. The further down I went, the more gasps and moans escaped Poseidon's mouth. I found myself wanting to hear it more, his delicious gasps for air and the way he moaned without reservation. If he reacted like this to kissing, what if I touched him more? I bit down on his chest to an audible gasp, which at the same time placing my hand over his growing hotness, just as he did to me. Uh. <laughs> I'll just copy what he did then. He is meant to be my teacher, right? <laughs> I copied the same motions that Sign had used on me only a few moments ago. Through his underwear, I felt his chicken growing by the second. <laughs> We're gonna devolve into this. I'm trying, but at the same time, it's difficult. Okay. I glanced back at Sign. He looked back at me, his gaze full of razzle. Are you? Are you going to leave these on the whole time? Maybe. Uh, sh sh should I take them off? <laughs> Please. Within a moment, I took my fingers around his underwear and began pulling them down, all the while still leaving kisses over his chest. He let out a moan, his voice raw and sexy. The door to the bedroom swung open, and then suddenly in Leo stepped <laughs> on in Leo's stepped inside. Wee woo. <laughs> Wee woo. <laughs> I'm seriously beginning to think you're deaf. Can't you hear us knocking on the woo-ha? <laughs> woo. Woo. Uh. Woo. Uh. Oh, look at him. He's so pretty. Without the cloak. Oh my god, his outfit is amazing. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Both of our jaws dropped in surprise and I jumped away from sign covering my body with the sheets. Oh gosh, I, I, uh, I'm so sorry. Yep. Can you guys, like, close the door? Leave, leave. Well, good morning to the two of you as well. I take it you've never learnt to knock? Uh, this isn't... This isn't what it looks like. It, it's exactly what it is, Rain. Don't do this. Unless... <laughs> you were planning on joining. <laughs> Where I had to scramble to... <laughs> Where I had to scramble to hide myself, Sign stayed out in the open, leaning on his elbows. There was no hiding exactly what, were, <laughs> what was going on. The other two turned away, away, turning bright red. No, I don't. We don't want to join. Leos, let's wait outside. <laughs> On dragged Leos by his arm and the door slammed shut once again. Well, that totally spoiled the mood. Uh, how embarrassing. 
I covered my face with my hands. I felt like crying. Eh, don't worry about it. A little bit of foreplay is nothing to be embarrassed about. Some people like to be watched. I can't say I'm against the idea. Oh no, my god. Being watched? Why would anyone... People get excited by a lot of different things. I'm sure we'll work out exactly what makes you tick before long, too. Uh, um... You go on ahead and meet up with the others. I'll just be a minute. Why? We should go together. <laughs> uh, he needs to take care of something, Simon. <laughs> you want to stay here and watch while I take care of this? <laughs> My eyes wandered down and then snapped back to his face. Uh, no! Uh, okay, uh, I'll meet you out there. <laughs> I just grabbed to adjust myself before dashing out of the door and into the lobby. Holy jeez. <laughs> I rushed out of my room, pulling my cloak in tight. Mm. <laughs> Leos is not impressed. Uh. <laughs> Good morning. Morning. Fawn's eyes were anywhere but on me, while Leos just crossed his arms and stared. <laughs> Don't do this to me, Leos. Wait, so what were you two doing? <laughs> God. Leos, you you can't ask that. Wait, why not? What are they in trouble? Uh where's the brat? He uh he said he just needed to finish up with something. Mm. <laughs> He's like Fawn's like, this is too much information, yo. <laughs> I didn't need to know this. I could live my whole life without knowing this information. <laughs> Did you miss me? <laughs> Hardly. What took you so long? Oh, you know, this and that. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna cry from the embarrassment as well. <laughs> he winked at Leos, who rolled his eyes in response. Uh, as useful as ever. Tell me you're at least a little useful and you managed to get us those invites to the ball. Yes and uh, no. I got two invites, so I'm taking Rain as my date. What? Do you have a problem with that? No. Do you, Rain? It'll be safer that way, or, well, um, I actually think I know the answer to this one. It's safer that way. <laughs> but also, I have a guide, and I'm scared of uh, losing everything. It'll be safer that way, yes. We'll stand out less with just the two of us. I guess so. Also, we match, so it'll be uh, fine. <laughs> We'll be that couple that has matching outfits. Uh, what's the plan till then? Hmm. Since we didn't get much of a chance to do it yesterday, we could ask around about Caspian? Maybe the ball won't even be necessary and we'll just run into him. Oh, if that's the case, then we should split up. Wait, why do you always want to split up? <laughs> it's more fun that way. Okay, who wants to pick first? Uh, yes, let's go together. Ooh. Fawn? We'll give you two some alone time. Uh, mm. <laughs> Woohoo! Rain, I can show you around. We'll meet here again tomorrow morning and go over what we find out. Don't slack off. I would never. Yeah, whatever you say. Forest Fairy, let's go. I waved to Fawn, but he avoided meeting my eyes and quickly and left quickly with Leos. Well, what's the plan? You know what? We're gonna stop here. Whoop, sorry. Did I peek the mic? I'm sorry. I, I'm trying not to slap my hands together. It's really hard. That's how I, am. I express myself sometimes when I'm alone at my home. Anyway, that'll be it for today. Thank you for joining me. If you're interested in playing the game yourself, seriously, buy this game. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, links are in the description. There's also a link to the art book. Is th That's what I'm using for the guides, by the way. And that's how you can get that. Now, or if you want to look at beautiful art, uh, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.